Hi, this is Randy. Do you ever wonder why some people raise their hands in worship? And also, why do we close our eyes when we pray? Stay tuned. Hi, it's Randy here, uh, just coming at you with a couple of thoughts. I've been asked this recently, and maybe you've thought the same thing, so I thought it might be worthy of putting out there. Why do some people raise their hands in worship and show a little bit more of that emotion? You know, do they know something we don't know? Or are they reaching for something that you can't see? I'd see. What, what is the reason for that? It actually goes back to the ancient times in the Old Testament. When you see the psalmist talking about, I will raise my hand to the Lord. I will, you know, and they talk about dancing and playing harps and lyres and different things like that. It is just a form of worship. It's not any better or any worse than what your style may be. We all have a style of worship, whether it's very quiet with our body language or whether it's very active in our body language. But whatever is true to your personality is what you should do when you are caught up in the act of word. The main thing is to connect with God through worship, either privately or corporately. Uh, so there's certainly nothing wrong with that, and it doesn't mean any more than, than those others who don't do that. The other question I've had a lot is, um, why do we close our eyes in prayer? Do, is, it, is it really not, does it not count if we don't close our eyes? Uh, I'll tell you what I read. There's a lot of legends, but I think this is fairly accurate. Again, back in the first century in Jesus' day, they did not usually close their eyes. Their posture was more looking up toward heaven and, and extending their arms toward God in prayer. We see other postures of kneeling, of standing. We see others where they're just lying flat out on the ground uh, as, as a sign of submission and reverence to God. We see all of those, and, and, and all of those are correct. Uh, I read where even though prior to 1800, really the custom was not to close your eyes. You actually could look at each other and pray for each other. And um, the practice in the 1800s of closing your eyes was basically when the advent of Sunday school for children came into effect. And if you've ever led a bunch of children, you know... Um, Sometimes you can just get them to close their eyes. They're a little more still and a little more quiet while you're praying. And so it became bow your head out of reference and close your eyes. It was a tool to teach children. Um, God bless you all.